It's too loud. I unconsciously groped for the alarm clock by the bed. It's 5 a.m. It was long before the alarm rang. I must have fell asleep. I slowly get up from bed. Ugh. I must have really overworked my body yesterday. My shoulder still hurts. I feel stiffer than usual for waking up early. So noisy in the morning. <sighs> Should I sleep more? Anyways, is there construction going on around the house? Why is it so noisy today? What? Wait, this sound is coming from the kitchen? I'm about to starve to die uh, and die. I'm gonna die before I can save the world. You're hungry too, aren't you? Uh, I, uh, a little. Jajang? This fellow's wallet? Oh, don't steal cash! <laughs> Could you please be quiet? Do you want to show off? <laughs> Do you want to show off how rude you are? Taking the wallet. You are no different from a thief. Did you call the just- <laughs> What? You punk? A thief? Did you just call the justice warrior a thief? Look, look, if you talk too loud, Master will- <laughs> They are not listening. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is the same thing though. I only said I'll take the money, not steal it. But if you take the money with no intention of giving it back, you're stealing, no? Um, they are the same. What is the difference? She says she likes to buy us things. Ooh. I don't want to deliver food. My skin is sensitive, and I have to watch what I eat. So, Tay, a whole meal for me, please. <laughs> 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 he seems I've naturally become the cook. Well, okay, but first, talk after you peeled off the fa facial mask. She already looks surprised! A man in an apron called Tay raises the ladle and points at me. She turned paler after seeing your face with that facial mask, Yuri. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, the apron he's wearing too! It's perfect! Mwah! Chef's kiss! Um, just wanted to the lurk. <laughs> I'm AFK, so I'll pop in here and there! Aww, I'm so happy you're here! I agree, Durian! I'm so happy Casper's here! All eyes turned on me at once. So, what's happening right now? The man in the apron and bandana holding a ladle looks like Tay. The frowning man sitting at the table with his fingers on his forehead is a carbon copy of Lance. The young man scratching the back of his head with an apologetic face has the same hair color as Red. The one calmly sitting at the table with his two hands gathered on his knees had, um... Yonho's eyes. The tall one smoothing out the facial mask on his face 
Is it really Yuri? But wait, isn't that head hairband mine? P pretty sure, yeah. Mmm! The kid who looked like Yeon Ho and I made co eye contact. What? Uh, master? Oh, I have to save this. I have to. Boop. He write red and lance. Be sorry. It's going to take a while to cook the food. Won't you sit here since you've woken up? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just see the main character in the corner. So confused. Can you imagine, like, waking up to see your prized dolls, like, actual living, breathing humans? I mean, like, I wouldn't mind if it was my figures. Or the few figures that I have. Granted, they are totally my husband's. <laughs> like, see, what did I do? He's the one who started the fight. He won't even let me wake that fellow up, bugging me for every single tiny thing. That is because you, you were about to jump into the bed. <sighs> Never mind. You have no sense of your own wrong duty doings. I apologize if we woke you up. The one who looks like Lance slightly bowed his head to me. Yeah, you saw my headband! Yuri! But he also looks so cute, I can't even be mad at you. Darn it! Just in time. I was just about to ask something. Is there an Annie and hair dryer in this house? You are, after all, a girl. You should have something similar. Well, your hair is kind of cute, all soft and fuzzy like a squirrel. I think I'm dreaming a lot lately. Am I getting weak? I pinch my cheeks with my eyes still on the boys in front of me. It hurts. I pinch the other side too. It hurts twice as much. I like the voice acting. <laughs> That's enough self-mutilation for the morning. You'll be late if you don't get yourself together and start getting ready. Yo, you listen to me? Come here. There's an empty seat next to me. Let's eat together. You always eat crappy food or nothing at all. That won't do. Breakfast is the most, meal, most important meal of the day. You can't fight for justice without it. Here are recommended. He has a much more like deeper voice than I thought, to be honest. Yes, Master, you always end up eating toast. You are already so weak. I've always worried about your eating habits. Now, now, the baby cubs are worried sick, so sit down. Or do you want to sit on my lap? <laughs> Let me just process that. The tall man drags me towards the table. Uh, huh? Huh? What is that blank look? Hold on, I just smudged my glasses. What is that blank look? But how about getting changed first if you're gonna sit at the table?
The silver-haired boy who looks exactly like Lance spoke to me. What? I, oh. Are there not table manners? I wish you could care about your manners even if it's still at home. It's enough with that redhead over there with his hideous clothes. What you say? What about my clothes? Are you being serious? Then I apologize. I have overestimated you. I at least assume that you possessed a thinking, albeit empty head. Uh oh. Guys. Calm down. This proves that I am a warrior of justice, and I do have a head. What do you say? Now wait, Red. Don't flip the table over just because you're mad. Everyone's getting grouchy because they're hungry. Now, everyone, here's your meal. Oh, the plating is actually really fantastic, Tay. You have a good eye. I like it. Thanks, Yuri. I feel good hearing that from coming from you. Now, I've made plenty, so everyone eat up. Master, sit here. Oh, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! Guys, I want to give him a hug. Why are you smiling? Oh, my heart! It's actually like a dream coming true sitting here together and eating breakfast with you. The cute kid resembling your... No um, Yonho uh, handed me a spoon. And then he wrapped his small, soft hands around mine. Being able to hold these hands that I've always cared that have always caressed me. Master, this can't be a dream, can it? And his clear and bright eyes were pure happiness. Oh, it's so precious. This kid, he's so lovely. I unconsciously hold my hand and stroke his head. His soft hair twining around my hand felt good. This really isn't a dream. Yeah, it really isn't a dream. What? This isn't a dream? Oh. <gasps> uh, didn't you figure that out when you hurt yourself? I suddenly stood up. Yono shrank back in fear and my chair fell down with a bang. <laughs> He was expecting it too! Ah, I thought you were too calm. Here we go! Yo, you guys, what the hell? Who are you? Huh? I thought you already knew. Okay, I'll introduce myself. Listen, alright? I am the defender of Earth fighting for justice. The sacred name is Red. I'm Red. And I'm the captain of this group. <clears throat> red? Those clothes and the name Red. My doll Red? Yes, you are correct. So, you're saying you're that doll? Yep, that's what I said. No way, shut up! Why not? I'm telling the truth. Why don't you believe me? But a tall moving? Coming to life? How am I supposed to believe that? <sighs> I cannot agree with the guy over there as our leader, but we are your dolls, so please calm down. Yeah, I understand your surprise, but get yourself together. Yono over there is about to cry. <gasps> oh no, baby! The boy still co cowered and stiff was about to break into tears. No, 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 no! He moved at me with his wet eyes and spoke to me. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, that's not it! I. Now, I love everything about you, my dear. 
But making kids cry isn't really acceptable, so I think you should comfort Yono now. Oh, my, my what? Stop crying now, Yono. No, can I hug him? I want to hug him. Guys, can I please hug him? This boy needs a hug. I know you're a bit confused right now, but why don't we eat first? Breakfast is getting cold. I see steaming hot soup and glossy rice on the table. Ever since Grandpa died, I haven't seen such a well-prepared breakfast table. Living by myself afterwards, I just couldn't be bothered to eat breakfast. Same. Ever since living by myself, I rarely ate rice and just bought bento boxes or bread from convenience stores. So I'm also not used to eating breakfast with this many people. Yeah, a lot of people. And what's more, a lot of boys. <laughs> Wait, huh? I suddenly stood up again. And slowly, I checked how I look. Even if I ignore the messy held, uh, hair disheveled from sleep, my clothes were disastrous. My pajamas were a ridiculous juvenile bear print dress I had bought on the street five years ago. There were even ho holes here and there. And inside the pajamas, braless. Aspiring to be a free soul, I always took off my underwear at home and enjoyed living- Well, you don't sleep in your bra, so... I mean, unless you're talking about underwear. Do I actually look like this in front of these five? No way! Huh? <laughs> what a lively morning. After panicking for a while, I quickly went back to my room to change into better clothes and came back to the living room. And then I came to life. After I came back, Rhoda explained to me what happened. So, what are you trying to say? That you were on the shelf until yesterday, but woke up to find yourself a human being? Hmm. How? I've just told you, something just popped up and whisked like this. I had no idea what he was saying. <sighs> you just had to talk like that. What a stupid explanation. Hey, what about what I just said? Then do you know about the reason we became humans? There's no one among us who can explain that. Even I don't really know what happened to us. But, as Red said, I remember something touching our bodies. I remember too. As soon as it touched us, we were surrounded by light. And when I opened my eyes afterwards, I had a human body. Oh, no one can explain why we came to light. But one thing is for sure. Yuri walked towards me with his long legs. Human or not, our owner is you. Only you. My god. Oh my god! My one and only. My owner. Yuri raised my chin as he spoke. Up close, he's really so... cute. Hmm? What? Ah, uh, what? I accidentally spoke my mind while... <laughs> while blankly staring at him. Luckily, Yuri seemed to have missed it. Didn't you say something just now? He really does have beautiful eyes, though. Yuri raised my chin and pulled my face towards his. He was not as small as when he was a doll. I mean, given that he was the tallest out of the doll group, he would be a very tall human being. My heart started pounding to see such a beauty up close. And he's not just a beauty, he's a man! Uh, oh, uh, it was nothing. I shake off his hand at, at this thought. Never to think about it, Yuri is the first and foremost a man. I've never been this close to a guy other than Grandpa and Dad. After being aware of this, my heart started to beat faster. My face is probably red too. Uh, it's so embarrassing. 
<laughs> oh my god, my honey, are you being shy? Yes, I, I was just surprised. Yuri seemed to put on a serious face, but soon shrugged it off and came back to his usual sh self. Shelf on the shelf? Self on the shelf? What? But there's something odd. What is it? If you guys are the dolls, then what are those? All the dolls in my room are where they were before. I pointed towards my room. I checked with my own while getting dressed. On the shelf were five dolls as usual. Oh! Oh! Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think our bodies remain the same. You can say that we are the souls of those dolls. The soul? Like, these are basically like their true form, essentially. Like the soul and manifested into a human body? How oh, interesting, I'm curious. I wonder if the grandpa had anything to do with it, to be honest. Yes, those dolls over there are no more than empty shelves. The wheel has her standing right here. I believe the consciousness in the dolls uh, materialized into human figures. The consciousness? What? I can't understand what he means. Knowing what I'm thinking, Lance frowned a bit and started to explain more. To put it simple, the souls inside the dolls turned into human bodies. Of course, I do not know why. What, what kind of fantasy is that? So, now that they are human, the dolls are useless? 